Hey YouTube, this is Everything you Pan here, and today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Whistler build 2257 in VirtualBox. Now, this build was one of the only builds to feature a new um, boot screen that looks similar to Windows 2000, and this is the only build that uh, is released that had this boot screen. Now, for this tutorial, for some reason in VirtualBox, um, I have to install MS-DOS 6.22 and change the date, but I don't know why I have to install MS-DOS. I wish I could just like change the date and then it would load. But for some reason, that's what happens. But when I did it in VMware, I didn't even have to install MS-DOS. So I just changed the I uh, went into the VMware Virtual BIOS, and then I changed the date. Um, so I don't know why it's has to install MS-DOS, but uh, let's just go ahead and get into the tutorial anyway. I'll link my video in the description on how to install MS-DOS 6.22 in the description. So we're just going to call this Windows Whistler build 2257 and make sure you put the version as Windows XP 32-bit. Click Next. Leave this at 192 megabytes. Click Next. We're going to create our virtual hard drive with the VDI. Click Next dynamically allocated click next and we're going to leave this at 10 gigs and click create and now in the settings go ahead and go to storage and then click this button down here and then we need to add a floppy controller in order to install MS-DOS so click this and then click this to add a new floppy and then choose your disk and then click on disk number one and install MS-DOS so I'm going to do this real quick for you guys and I'll be right back once it's installed so here when you're in the MS-DOS setup, you'll get to this date and time screen. Um, you need to go in and change the BIOS date or the system date here to uh, whoops, lock. change it to August 11th, 2000. Whoops, it's got to be zero, 00 for this. So that's what you need to change the date to and then just go ahead and continue with the installation and um, so I'll be back when I'm done with this. So now we have MS-DOS installed, so now what we can do is we can um, put in the ISO, which will be linked in the description. Um, no product key is needed, just need the ISO itself. Click on Machine up here and then click Reset. Password's right here in an annotation. Then you need to click on any key to boot from the CD, and now it's going to come up with the Windows Whistler setup um, screen here and then it's going to load all of the files and it's going to say set up a starting Windows Whistler. I will do a VMware tutorial eventually on this just because it's easier to do but I figured you know what I have a lot of VirtualBox people so I'll do this one. Here it's going to do a setup notification just click enter here now it's going to say welcome click enter and then we're going to do enter to do the express setup click on F8 to accept the license terms that's going to check your disk and it's going to automatically format it for you so it's going to copy the files over now which will not take long at all so you'll see that this is the first build where they really transition into the Whistler code name here and uh, now you can go ahead and click enter to restart um, because of the boot screen for one and then the setup they're changing everything to Windows Whistler um, so do not press any key to boot from CD here and now you'll have those options it'll automatically boot to the, the Whistler setup but there is the boot screen and that is similar to Windows 2000's just that they changed it to uh, um, Windows codename Whistler and then they uh, got rid of the built on NT technology um, stuff here so this installer actually does everything for you I didn't even have to click um, anything that I could remember this uh, installer basically just put Windows on there for you. So it's going to go through the installing devices screen here, which your screen may um, flicker or turn on and off. Not your actual screen, but the virtual um, screen here. So um, Whistler is just going to go through its uh, basic setup here. So really you don't even have to do anything at this point. You can just kick back and let this uh, run. So um, I'll show you here what happens after the installing devices stage is finished so 
see it's nearing the end and then now it's doing your networking components automatically whereas you would have to click on some things before you get to this point so you see that this setup really just does everything for you until the uh, next restart and then after the uh, networking components it's going to um, go through some other file installations and all that good stuff so um, kinda just let this sit, this can take some time you know how Windows installations are, this can take some time so as you can see it's already copying files so I'm gonna let this run through here and I'll be back with you guys once we hit our restart point so here we have now hit the reach start screen here and if you have a problem with your mouse integration just go up to um, input and click on mouse integration then you can click in and click restart now so that could just be a glitch for some people um, that the mouse won't move when you try and move inside the window so just turn off the mouse integration and you should be good so now it's going to reboot but do not boot from the CD and then um, go ahead and choose Windows Whistler here it's going to get the bootloader here and it'll say starting up and you'll be like oh sweet Windows Whistler's installed and everything now I can use it um, it'll start up and then um, oh you'll get this uh, log on message it'll say unable to log you on because of an account restriction so why this error comes up I have no idea but if you try and log on to the administrator account you can't and say you try logging in like say you just log in with any random name the system cannot log you on because there's no um, options here to do this so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to reboot this machine and when you reboot it you'll see why it was a good idea to put MS-DOS here so it has the dual bootloader here um, what we have to do is we have to go in to safe mode with the command prompt and we have to do a couple commands and create a new user so here it's rebooting and then don't press any key to boot from the CD or DVD you can actually probably remove this as of right now and when you get into here click on F8 and then it'll come up with all these options go down to safe mode with command prompt and then click enter to select Windows Whistler and that's going to do this uh, loading of a ton of files here and so when we get into the uh, command prompt here so now when we get to the log on screen it'll actually log you it'll let you log into the administrator account for some stupid reason it lets you do that but what you're gonna do is so if I type in net user here it lists all the users here administrator guess help assistant and your username I guess I don't know I never really tried that but what you gotta do here is to create a new user you need to do net user and then type in the name of the user that you want to create so I'm gonna type in everything you can then type in backslash add and I'll say command was completed successfully so now if you type in net user my username is now here but um, if you want to do some administrative uh, have some administrative privileges it will not let you do that if you reboot right now so if you want to have administrative privileges on this account what you need to do is type in net local group um, and type in owners and then type in your username and then type in backslash add I know it kinda glitched here but it did say add and then click enter it will say command completed successfully so if you go to net user your name's still here but if you go to net user and then your name it used to have you under just the user section now it has you under the owner section because if you go to net user administrator this is under the owner section so now we've just successfully created a new user with administrative privileges so go ahead and reset the machine and then boot into Windows Whistler and uh, it may want to do some sort of disk check you can skip it it's just because we suddenly rebooted it into um, safe mode so now it's going to start up with the bootloader here and then now what you can do 
you can't log on to the administrator still so type in your name and then click OK and there you go it will then log you in to Windows Whistler and with the uh, boot, sc or boot screen um, the startup sound so this is the um, layout of build 2257 so um, and if you want to get the uh, shutdown sound to work go to control panel and uh, you can make this screen resolution a little bit bigger here by going to property settings and then the highest it can do is 800 by 600 you can't do a like 32-bit colored driver and with bigger resolutions in the beta builds here so now here it's kind of got the Windows XP um, categories here that I had in the final so click on sounds and audio devices and then go ahead and go to sounds and then arrow down to exit windows click browse and then do windows log off sound click OK and then apply it and click OK and then when you log off of windows now um, you will hear the shutdown sound So there you go guys, that is the tutorial on how to install Windows Whistler build 2257 in VirtualBox. Thank you guys for watching, I haven't really done a Whistler tutorial in a while, so um, if you guys have any other builds of Whistler you want me to try, um, I could gladly do so. Um, I was originally going to try and do a Memphis upload, but I have not gotten any builds to work. Um, other than that build, what was it, 1400 that I did a while back. Um, Whistler's just been working better, so I might do some more builds of Whistler if you guys um, have any suggestions for which builds I should do down below. So leave a like on this video if it helped you out and you enjoyed. Um, comment your um, ideas down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.